What's going on Z Nation and welcome to another edition of ZSPN. I'm your host Zaid here and today guys we're going to be talking about the Los Angeles Lakers as concerns uh, potential trade rumors that I've been uh, seeing lately uh, for these past couple of days as concerns uh, the the go sorry uh, the Washington Wizards involving uh, all of their uh, their roster being available including John Wall and Bradley Beald. I mean, now, guys, before anything, like always, please make sure to like this video, subscribe to the channel, share my videos all over Facebook, Twitter, all the good social media stuff. And guys, uh, so anyway, I, I just want to like give you guys my perspective and my thoughts about the whole uh, thing about the Lakers potentially being involved in this in being part of the sweepstakes of being part of the uh the trade rumors of involving our players for potentially possibly john wall or bradley beald first of all guys uh, for me um john wall in my opinion i don't think we should trade for john wall okay uh the guy sure he has been in the league for almost uh i believe eight years now and uh, for some reason, guys, I don't know. I don't really see him potentially being a Laker. I just don't see it whatsoever. I think he should just, I don't know, remain as a uh, as a wizard or maybe possibly go somewhere else because I don't really see him as a Laker. But, uh, but some people might think that John Wall could be a Laker because, you know, he is, has the same agent as LeBron James and... Uh, they are good friends anyway, so I, I don't know. He could be a potentially um, potential possibility of being a landing spot, a potential trade with the Los Angeles Lakers. So uh, he's the type of player that I don't really see that happening. But you know, in the NBA, anything can happen. So uh, that's one thing. Secondly, Bradley Beal. I'm here to tell you guys, uh, I like Bradley Bill. The guy is a great shooting guard in this league, and I can honestly say uh, he knows how to shoot. And what is the main problem for the Lakers? Obviously defense, but we basically uh, fixed that with the added addition to Tyson Chandler. Um, but the second problem in my opinion, it is shooting. The Lakers have been struggling shooting-wise since the season has started. Um, and it was obviously shown. Most of our players that are on the team don't really know how to shoot. I mean, the only players that know how to, it is LeBron James. Um, I believe, uh, I'm thinking on top of my head, uh, KCP, Josh Hart. And uh, I believe that's it. If I'm missing somebody, please comment down below. Give me your thoughts of who's also a great shooter on the Lakers. But I'm here to tell you guys, Bradley Beal, he knows how to shoot. And we really need somebody like him to potentially uh, be in part of that atmosphere and being that guy that could be very reliable when it comes to uh, shooting. Uh, and... I, I can honestly say, guys, that Bradley Beal is a potential uh, trade for a trade for the Los Angeles Lakers once potentially trading deadline comes. I mean, they can still trade until the deadline ends in, I believe, in uh, February, something like that. So, um, so for me, the Lakers. Being involved in this uh, potential trade could happen, but I just honestly can really say Bradley Beal is the most potential and more realistic trade for the Lakers if they're looking for somebody who uh, is a good shooting guard and knows how to shoot and potentially can play very well alongside LeBron James and our young core. And if I really have to say a good trading package for the Lakers would be for Bradley Beal, um, it will possibly be like, um, I hate to say it, it has to be involved with our young core. 
and then maybe attach KCP and maybe possibly a um, uh, a future uh, s first round, maybe possibly second round pick. Uh, for me, um, I'm not sure who is our young core, but I guarantee you, maybe possibly it's going to be either Brandon Ingram or um, maybe uh, uh, Kyle Kuzma. Something like that. So that could be the potential uh, packaging for uh, Bradley Beald. I, I guarantee you, I don't think it's just going to be Bradley Beald. I think it's going to be some other wizard player that could be involved in the trade. But um, most likely, it could be just Bradley Beald. But um, I don't know, guys. That's just my own personal opinion. I think that by having... Somebody like Bradley Beal joining the Lakers will really help us shooting-wise and also defensively. I mean, the guy knows how to defend as well. So um, by having somebody like him, uh, he could really uh, handle the floor. Uh, being a sort of a, 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 a combo guard, to be honest. I mean, he does know how to play point guard as well and small forward. So he plays multiple positions as well. So... Uh, but his main specialty is a shooting guard. But I can honestly say, guys, I can really see that being a more realistic trade than possibly bringing in uh, John Wall. So, uh, so guys, uh, please comment down below and give me your thoughts about uh, the whole rumors about the Washington Wizards involving all of their players, including John Wall and Bradley Beal. And how do you guys feel about the Lakers being involved of a potential trade with uh with Bradley Beal and may possibly John Wall please guys comment down below give me your thoughts about this uh potential signing uh sorry a uh, potential trade uh once uh I don't know maybe the trade deadline ends in February so anything could happen these next couple of months with Lakers and potential trades so um uh guys so Please give me your comments down below uh, and give me your thoughts and I'll see you all in the next video. Thank you so much for watching. Go Lakers. Peace.